A sight most parents take for granted, but one Debbie Barley thought she would never see. At 16 months old, Blake was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. Doctors warned he'd be wheelchair-bound and would certainly never be able to run. But five years ago this week, the family travelled to America for a life-changing operation. Every day we look at him, it's a marvel. And every there's not a day that goes by that you don't look at him and you're grateful because every day you look at him and you know how different his life would have been. And so there's that gratitude every day, you know. And it's not just, it's not the big things, it's the normal things, it's walking down to the shops with us, you know, taking the dog for a walk, you know, going out on his bike, um, going to the park, taking him to his karate club, his swimming club, you know, it's all of those things. It's, it's not always the big things, it's the little things. But it wasn't easy to get there. Age three, Blake had to use a walker and getting around was extremely tiring. The operation he needed wasn't available in the UK, so his family started an appeal to raise £50,000 to get him to America. They knew it was ambitious, but after an appeal with the Eastern Daily Press, hundreds of strangers donated. Within six months, they'd smashed their target. I think it went in on a Thursday morning and before I'd even got dressed, I was getting the children ready for school and I had a phone call from a lady in Norwich. Um, donating a thousand pounds. So, what can you say? Uh, what they did in those months will live with Blake and us forever. Five years on and it's hard to tell this is the same child. He still does special exercises every day to stretch his muscles, but with hobbies including karate and swimming, it's a small price to pay. He can't remember the time before the operation, but also can't imagine what life would have been like without it. Absolutely terrible. I would like, if I was in a wheelchair for most of my day at school, I would definitely not like it because I wouldn't be able to play games with my friends because I usually play a game called it where you have to like tag people and that would be really difficult because I have to like keep doing that on my wheelchair and then go like that and it would be very difficult. Together with his family, Blake's now busy building a future that once seemed out of reach. But with the five-year anniversary of him leaving hospital falling on Christmas Day, this time of year will always serve as a reminder of how the public's generosity changed their lives. Lauren Hewitt, Mustard TV, Toftwood.